Good morning class. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. I am teacher Francis and today I am going to teach you ratio using either column or fraction. Let us first define ratio. Ratio deals with comparison of two items. In this picture, what can you say about the number of books to the number of pupils? We can say that there are four books for every eight pupils. How do we write it in a ratio? We can write it as 4 is to 8 or 4 over 8. 4 is to 8 is a ratio written in colon form because we used colon in comparing two items. Those two items are the books and the pupils. On the other hand, 4 8 or 4 over 8 is a ratio written in fraction form because we have the numerator and the denominator. Four is to eight can be expressed as one is to two, while four eight or four over eight can also be expressed as one half or one over two. Hmm, how did that happen? I am going to show you how did four is to eight become one is to two and 4 8 or 4 over 8 become 1 half or 1 over 2 using this table. Listen carefully. So what do we have here in the table? We have ratio, terms, greatest common factor or GCF, divide the terms by their GCF, and values of the ratio in lowest terms. Under that, we have using the colon form and using the fraction form. Okay. So, what is the ratio? The ratio is 4 is to 8. What are the terms? If the ratio is 4 is to 8, the terms are 4 and 8. What is the GCF or the greatest common factor of 4 and 8? Their greatest common factor is 4. Now, we are going to divide the terms by their GCF. So, the terms are 4 and 8, and the GCF is 4. So, it would be 4 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. What is the answer? 4 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. The answer is 1 is to 2. That is the value of the ratio in lowest terms. So, 4, 8 became 1 is to 2 by dividing the terms by their GCF. Let's have another example. 9 is to 27. What are the terms? 9 and 27. What is the GCF? 9. We are going to divide the terms by their GCF. 9 divided by 9 and 27 divided by 9. 9 divided by 9 is equal to what? And 27 divided by 9 is... Okay, the answer is 1 is to 3. When we divide 9 by 9, the answer is 1. And when, when we divide 27 by 9, the answer is 3. Let's, let's now study using the fraction form. So the ratio in the fraction form is 4 over 8 or 4 8. The terms are 4 and 8. What is the GCF of 4 and 8? The GCF is 4. So, when we divide the terms by their GCF, 4 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4, the answer is 1 half or 1 over 2. I hope you are following. Let's have another example using the fraction form. 9 over 27 or 927. What are the terms? The terms are 9 and 27. What is the GCF or the greatest common factor? 9. 
So, we are going to divide again the terms by their GCF. 9 divided by 9 and 27 divided by 9. So, the answer would be 1 third or 1 over 3. Let us have another example. But this time, sabayan nyo ako magsagot. Ready? Express the ratio of the following using column form and reduce to its simplest form. First example, 2 teachers to 46 pupils. What is the column form? 2 is to 46. Okay. 2 is to 46 is the column form. What is its simplest form? 1 is to 23. Next example. 14 garbage cans to 7 classrooms. What is the column form? Correct. 14 is to 7 is the column form. What is its simplest form? Correct. 2 is to 1 is the simplest form. Let's have another one. 10 glasses of juice to 30 sandwiches. What is the column form? You are right. 10 is to 30 is the column form. How about its simplest form? One is to three is the simplest form. Very good. How about we express the ratio of the following in fraction form and then reduce it to its simplest form? Okay, this time we are going to express the ratio of the following in fraction form. Four vases to twelve flowers. Correct. 4 12 or 4 over 12 is the fraction form. What is its simplest form? You are right. 1 third is the simplest form. Next. 5 books to 20 pupils. What is the fraction form? What is the ratio? In fraction form of 5 books to 20 pupils. Correct. 5, 20 or 5 over 20 is the ratio in fraction form. How about its simplest form? 1 fourth is the simplest form of 5 over 20. Very good! I believe that you are now ready for our next activity.